So good morning, all of you, my dear friends, and my colleagues from all over, from everywhere, welcome. We are trying to express one fact, and that is something that for thousands of years has become part of the culture, that it is normal and it is so entrenched in the society that it is very simple. It, is, it has been accepted as a fact of life. And we decided just to start to say, no, it is not really that. Let's change things. Simple as that. Why is it suddenly we decided to do or start this so-called movement? is I am a surgeon. I am not a political leader, and I am not a socialized person. I simply am my best place where I can't do anything is in the operating room. In the OR, if a bomb has gone off in the abdomen, and you give it to me, I will fix it. Out of the operating room, I cannot even tie my shoelaces. <laughs> and I'm sincere. But I'm telling you, it's not prepared. But I have seen me and my brothers Far and Sina and my niece Ozzy. We are surgeons. Why all of us are surgeons? Because we have a defective gene. <laughs> and we couldn't do anything better. But we have seen enough patients, young girls, women with endometriosis over the years that we want to do something about this problem. Why is that? To my knowledge, collectively, all four of us together, we have probably has, has spent more than 80 to 90 years seeing patients with endometriosis, with pelvic pain, or infertility patients. And we see day in and out people who come to you today in the March of 2014, and they say, I was not diagnosed. I was given antidepressive medications because they thought it is a, I am depressed. That is why I have this. Some people have been sent for diagnosis of irritable bowel syndrome. Some people have been young teenagers that have never had any intimate relationship, have been accused or have been said that they have pelvic inflammatory disease. After all, immaculate conception happens only once. You cannot have pelvic inflammatory disease without having any intimate relationship. So when we sit and we talk together in a family, we say, well, Nothing really has changed, although technology has made it that we have made a lot of progress. But still we see people come, young people, that they are having all these problems. So I thought the best thing is, beside publishing and writing papers about it, let's bring it to the attention of the whole people, women themselves, to see if they are interested to take the matter in their own hand until women themselves say, hey, pain is not normal. If pain was normal, everybody, every you know, one out of eight women have to stay in a school, out of a school or college or work because they have pain. So the other seven, why they don't have it? If it was normal, everybody had it. If it was normal, everybody would end up having surgery. Everybody would have a big cyst or some problem. So it is not normal. So we have to do something about it. And we started this as a social media. And in less than 10 months, more than 60 countries have joined. And they want people like you who are here, you want to do something about it. We are honored, privileged that the most respected organizations in the country, American Medical Association, American College of OBGYN, 
Society of Local Endoscopic Surgeons, uh, the international societies like European Society of Human Reproduction, and also Federation of International College of OBGYN, American Association of Gynecological Laparos. All of them, they hear that this is a good need and are very supportive of people, women, young girls, and they do want a change. We want to start to see if we can do something about it. Hopefully, ideally, if we do some research and collaborate together and find to avoid, to prevent, to make sure there is no more endometriosis, ideally, to have no endometriosis. But for those who have it, we would like to find a cure. And for younger girls, we want to have a screening test for very, very early detection. And right now, before anything else, we want to start educating everybody in the world to know if you have in excessive pain that you have to not to go to work or you have not to go to school, let's do something about that and let's evaluate, let's teach everybody, including medical schools. And that is why we are starting a campaign. I thank you very, very much. That is the whole story behind it. For the purpose of clarification, the, there has been no financial assistance for this except my family, uh, we and myself. So we are honored and privileged all of you are here. We are doing it for society, for, you, for people to serve the society, and we are privileged to be part of it. So thank you.